Hey everyone, Nick Griot from Griot's Garage, and today we're going to talk about our USAG torque wrenches. These incredibly high quality torque wrenches are manufactured, certified, and tested at USAG's facility in Gemonio, Italy, and are held to some of the highest quality standards in the world. Each individual torque wrench gets a VIN number, and is tested in eight different ways to ensure that its accuracy is within an incredibly tight tolerance. Each wrench comes with a report on its individual certification, ensuring it was verified and certified before leaving the plant. We are offering three different torque wrenches, a quarter inch drive that has a range of 5 to 25 newton meters, a 3 8 inch drive that can handle fasteners between 10 to 50 newton meters, and a half inch drive that is rated for 40 to 200 newton meters. The higher the range, the larger the fastener and job it can accommodate. Many tasks require exact torque values. These values are usually dictated by car manufacturers for things like engine reassembly, installation of suspension or brake components, and wheel fitment. Doing any of these incorrectly could make your engine run poorly or blow up, could put your suspension out of balance requiring further alignment, or have something as catastrophic as your wheel falling off due to being too loose or too tight as you drive down the road. Proper wheel torque figures can be found in your vehicle's owner manual or, in some cases, on a sticker in the door jam. To set your torque wrench to the proper torque rating, simply grab and pull down the detente ring. Twist the handle till you get to the proper torque reading. Once you're there, let go of the detente ring which will lock the torque wrench into that setting. Then approach your wheel and grab a fastener. Once you hear an audible click, which you'll also feel through the handle of the torque wrench, you know that that fastener is indeed set to the proper torque rating and you can move on to the next fastener. When you're fixing a wheel to a car, be sure to go in either a crosshatch or a star pattern depending on how many bolts you have in your pattern. Once you've secured all the fasteners on a wheel, move on to the next one. And then once you've done all four, it's good practice to just go around and double check. A quick audible click will reconfirm that you've torqued all those fasteners to the proper torque setting and that your car is safe to drive. Whenever you finish using your torque wrench, be sure that you store it at its lowest torque setting so it doesn't run the risk of jeopardizing its precise calibration. For this wrench, it's 40 Newton meters, so I've got to set it all the way back down there before I put it away. Buying one of these torque wrenches is an intergenerational investment. The USAG certification process is intense, and when you purchase one of these tools, you know exactly how precise your tool is, and also that it is yours for as long as you have a use for it. Thank you for watching. For more information on USOG torque wrenches, be sure to visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.